Well, hello everyone. My name's Steve Walton. I'm the principal here at Cedars Christian College. And I know over this pandemic, we've had quite a few people uh, reaching out, looking to have a tour of the school as they normally would when they apply to come to our college. Um, but we just haven't been able to accommodate that during the pandemic. So I thought I'd grab my camera out, go for a bit of a walk, give you a look around the, the school, a bit of a no frills tour with the principal to check out what's happening on our site at the moment during um, the pandemic and give you a sense of what we have to offer here at Cedars. So let's go for a walk. And what better place to start than our reception. Uh, so look, you, you come to our school, the first place you'll see is our reception and you'll pop in, say hello. Uh, you might meet um, our enrolments officer or registrar, Nicola Piper. Um, otherwise, your first face you'll see is the lovely Mrs. Skinner. Let's see if she's in. So coming into reception, the stop of the school, here we go. Ah, oh, Mrs. Skinner. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> this is Mrs. Skinner, she's our receptionist, she's amazing at her job. And as you come in, you'll see all the different uh, aspects of our school. Okay, well over to our senior quad from reception. So this is an area of our school where our senior students and middle school students sort of have their lunch, uh, might do some gatherings, maybe some outdoor lessons. No gatherings at the moment, obviously, and no students here in the quad today. Uh, they're all off in classes or doing remote learning at home at the moment. But this is sort of the central hub of the school. This is where we all kind of come to meet in the mornings and lunch times and there's plenty of handball and different stuff happening around the school at the moment. Our CLC is over there. Uh, our CLC is our hall uh, where we have um, our productions and performances and sporting fixtures and we might go over there and have a little look. So come with me. So on the way to the CLC, our science lab's over here and I'll also take you for a look in our music and drama space over here in a second, our performance space. But here we are at the CLC. Let's go in and take a look. Let's wash our hands, remember? That's a, that's a pull door, not a push door. Top of the class, Mr. Walton. Okay, our CLC. Wonderful trophy cabinet and our leaders leaderboard coming into our leadership centre here. So we have a wonderful leadership centre, uh, basketball court, facility for our school assemblies and chapel and our performances, our parent nights, uh, all those things happen in here. Our whole school community can fit. We have 700 students on site and we have parents and friends who come to enjoy our performances as well. So wonderful facility. Uh, I hope you will get a chance to come in and enjoy it soon. Hey, let me take you now into our performance space, which uh, is just the adjacent building. Uh, we're going to pop in there. This is a space that we have, uh, I guess, for smaller performances, for music lessons, for drama, uh, for small plays, things like that that we might have in our uh, community. Different small functions would happen in this building next door. So our CLC, our Cities Leadership Centre Performance Space. So here we are in our performance space, set up at the moment for music classrooms. Um, we've had students in here sitting at desks and so on. However, um, often we have performances in here, maybe small plays uh, to small groups of people. Uh, our HSC students are preparing for their performances in music and so on. And um, our teachers do a great job here in the performing arts. Students are really engaged and get to express that weekly through chapel um, and through our student bands in chapel, but also through all the different curricular activities that we have in place. We have um, school band, uh, we have small ensembles, and we have wonderful music staff and creative staff that um, help to provide our students with wonderful opportunities in spaces like this. So here's our Cedars performance space during the pandemic. Not as exciting as it usually is, but there you go. So some pretty exciting news coming up just outside of our Cedars Leadership Center and our performance space, right here where these green demandables are, we will be building our Cedars Resource Center. So a two-story uh, facility that has four classrooms, a library, 
a cafe, a lecture theatre, a senior study space, some offices and some other study rooms for our students as well, right here outside of the Cedars Leadership Centre. So if I step back out here into the quad, you'll get a picture of how that will look against our um, CLC, which I've just shown you, our performance space behind me, and then right here, a really wonderful state-of-the-art resource centre about to be built. Funding applications are in at the moment, and we're looking forward to getting that started uh, maybe end of 2020 or start of 2021. So that's exciting news for our community. Um, we're going to have a wonderful new facility there in the coming years. How about we head on upstairs and I'll show you our year seven and eight rooms um, and our executive offices. So we call, kind of call this Cedars Heights up here. This is some senior classrooms um, and our middle school year seven and eight classrooms as well. Uh, just down into the corridor. We try to have as much on our walls as we can to help uh, our students and our community know what we're all about. So Cedars is a Christian community, inspiring learning, developing leaders and equipping for success. This is our mission statement and we also talk about what our Cedars students are. Um, so students are walking around the corridors really with language around them, showing them with uh, pictures and photos what we expect of them, um, not only when they graduate, but while they're here at Cedar. But we've got some wonderful classrooms in here. These are year seven and eight classrooms. It's a relatively new building um, up on the second story here up in Cedars Heights. So here we are in middle school, which is our year five and six rooms. Year seven and eight are part of middle school, just in the building we've just come from. But this is our middle school rooms for year five and six. Um, so as you can see, we've got a nice central hub here in the middle uh, and the students can um, break out into some learning spaces uh, if need be. We have a learning space in between the classrooms that they all kind of fill, uh, fill into and also some learning support rooms over here. Hey, middle school, oh, and here's Mr. Willett in his beautiful, hey, Mr. Gosh. Willett, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm gonna have a look at your class, oh, oh, <laughs> and Mr. Wynn and Mr. Laird. Our uh, middle school has been designed to really uh, make sure that students in those kind of, um, I guess we call them those puberty years, uh, really being looked after when they're trying to ask questions about when, or when they're asking questions about their identity, who they are, what's their purpose. They're kind of um, coming up with those things themselves. They, they're moving away from their parents' identity and forming their own. And our teachers are really passionate about this age in middle school, about helping them through that difficult time. And they do a wonderful job. We have year five and six teachers are homeroom teachers and they see the students um, most most of the day, each day, but they'll also break out to visit the high school teachers for things like Japanese and music and art. It's a way to start to transition them into high school and the high school classrooms, meeting those high school teachers. And then in year seven and eight, we also have homeroom teachers. And they might be teaching some specialist subjects like English and history and Bible and uh, pastoral care. So they're seeing the students each day, but they are being more exposed to high school teachers and high school curriculum. So it's like a four year transition from primary school into high school, rather than like me, when I went to school, I had a one day transition from year six to year seven, from one teacher to eight, from one classroom to eight, trying to figure out where I had to go throughout the school. At Cedars, we transition over four years. We really take that process seriously and we have great results. Students feel comfortable, they feel at home, they feel like they are part of a community that's walking through this together and it doesn't feel like a rude shock, but it's just part of their natural journey from primary school through to high school. So that's our middle school process, um, I guess in a nutshell. And so uh, this is our middle school uh, during our isolation. Once again, looking forward to getting you here in person to have a look at that um, when we are able to. But while these restrictions are still here, we're just having a look around today with me on the phone. I hope you're hanging in there with me. So let's go for a walk downstairs to our technics area, our food tech, our woodwork room, our textiles facility. Uh, these are electives that we have starting in year seven. They go right the way through to year 12 and become much more specialized. But let's go for a quick walk through 
and just get a look at those sites. quick tour of our food tech rooms, our textiles rooms, our woodwork rooms. We do plastics and robotics and um, design and technology, timber technology, a whole range of electives here at Cedars, including when you get up to year 11 and 12, obviously all those things like ancient history, modern history, physics, chemistry, all the sciences, the extension maths and Englishes and so on. You get a great uh, variety of choices if you choose subjects at Cedars into senior college. And we also have fantastic partnerships with providers outside for those really unique courses that you might want to do like um, things like aeronautical engineering, animal husbandry, uh, all those types of things. So hey, subject choice at Cedars is strong um, and you get exposed to those things right from year seven all the way through. So middle school through to senior college, you'll be doing those elective type courses. Okay, so I'm gonna take you over to our prep now in our early learning centre. Okay, so here we are at our Early Learning Centre. This is our prep program and uh, a few other features in this building. We have a speech pathologist, our school psychologist works out of here as well sometimes, but it's really home to our prep program. These are our three and four year olds and um, we've got a wonderful new facility just being open now for just over a year. Uh, 40 students a day in our prep program and a wonderful team of staff to look after them. Is one of our rooms here. Um, plenty of different activities for the kids. They will spend some time uh, in the prep program each day, obviously having uh, a great time and plenty of play, but they'll get, they do pre-numeracy pre work, pre-literacy work. We have a phonics program, uh, really to give them a boost into their learning before they even start kindergarten. So by the time they're in kindergarten, they've already got a leg up. They've already got some great language skills, communication skills, and even those fine and gross motor skills um, that they need to really succeed well in school have already been established in our prep program. The team here do a wonderful job caring for our kids and helping them at the beginning of their learning journey. So. see where the kids are. We are obviously still in our kind of more of a lockdown phase with our families and so on but here they are outside having having some crunch and sip it looks like. Let's go out and say hello. Uh, this is an art room, uh, our wet space, plenty of room to play and have fun and get dirty and that spills on outside into our undercover area. Here we are. Hello, everyone. Hi. Is it lunch time or crunch and sip time? Lunch time. Lunch time. Oh, good. Are you having a good day? Yeah. You are. I want you all to give me a big smile and a big wave when I count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Hello. 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 And now let's do it again. You have to shout out. We love prep. We love prep. Ready? One, two, three. They love prep. The teachers love prep too, don't you, teachers? We do. We do love prep. They don't love it when I come in and make everyone noisy, but that's one of the fun things I get to do. So, hey, a wonderful playground here as well uh, for our students to get engaged with the outdoors and the environment, um, a whole heap of different levels. The kids love coming down here on their bikes. Um, there's some water play, wonderful sand pit, a uh, little amphitheater down here for story time and that sort of campfire feel around stories and learning together. And uh, yeah, the staff just do a wonderful job here for our students. I love about prep that it really does highlight the beginning of your learning journey. We've got a wonderful facility, obviously, but I love that 
as you look from prep, playground, across to junior school, you see where you're going to next. So when you graduate prep, you're only just going across the way to kindergarten, right through to junior school into year four. And then you, the story tells you that you go up to middle school and then up again to senior college. It's a journey, a learning journey, over your 13 or 14 years here at Cedars. I think that's special that as the four-year-olds start their, their, their program here at Cedars, they're looking out into the future and all of the exciting things that they have in store for them. I'm gonna sneak out the gate here and we are going to have a look at our field on our way over to junior school. So come with me. So this is our artificial turf futsal field. Uh, so our kids absolutely love this and it's all weather kind of surface. Um, they're down there all the time in lunch and recess and sports training and uh, we'll go for a walk across it as we head over to junior school. It's a great facility and one that the students absolutely enjoy and get the most out of. Hello, that's Kindy. Kindy are all back five days a week at the moment. We were coming over to have a look at their classrooms and I guess they'll be empty because here they are in the playground. This is our K1 playground. This is our kindergarten playground um, and they'll get some equipment out and some play equipment around the corner as well. Let's head up to their classrooms and have a look. Okay, well here we are in one of our kindergarten rooms, Mrs. Richard's room actually, and uh, we just saw all her students out on a lunch break. This is her break as well, but we're in here anyway. She doesn't mind, I'm sure. It's all good. It's all good. Hey, um, the kindy teachers do such a wonderful job setting up an environment that is so inviting for learning. Also a safe place for kids to, to I guess, um, participate and get engaged in their learning. We use sound waves here at Cedars as part of our literacy program and we have a strong focus on literacy and numeracy in the early years. So our students are very much immersed in those foundational skills and that content, especially in kindergarten as they start their learning journey. So you've seen us over in prep and the steps that we take over there and this is the start of formal learning here at Cedars in kindergarten. And, um, the team is surrounded by, the students are surrounded by a great team, obviously classroom teachers, but also each kindergarten class has a teacher's aide. Our school psychologist is heavily involved in the program as well, and our director of primary um, oversees that program and they do an absolutely wonderful job for our youngest students. So there we are, there's our kindergarten room. Thank you, Mrs. Richards. Now here we are in one of our year four rooms and um, just thought I'd show you one of our junior school rooms while we're down here. So some wonderful uh, creative designs our teachers get into uh, to really, uh, I guess, set the environment up uh, for the students to make it fun, to make it engaging and, and to, I guess, make them proud of, of their classroom and uh, the learning that they do in here. We like that learning to be visible where we can. We like to get it up on walls and, and um, any sort of surface we can to, to highlight that learning, uh, what the students are progressing towards and that I guess that growth mindset as well. So let's have a quick look around a year four classroom. So this wall is called the WOW work, student work that um, has obviously been met with some commendation from their teacher. Super improver. We're looking at a growth mindset here for our students, not just achieving educational outcomes, but actually helping them to understand that in life, we wanna continually learn and continually grow. And when we come across challenges, we uh, take them on, we don't shy away from them. 
Building resilience is something that we are very passionate about. Well, here we are back in my office. I hope you've had a good look around, uh, but I didn't want to leave you without talking about a few key things for us here at Cedars. The first one is we're really passionate about being a Christian school and delivering the curriculum from a Christian worldview or a biblical perspective. We try to do that in every lesson so that the students are, are surrounded by that Christian worldview each and every day right throughout their schooling, not just in a chapel or a Bible lesson, but every single class that they're involved in. You've heard me also speak about leadership and leadership centres. Well, we are a leadership development school. We're passionate about developing those skills in our students so they can go out and lead in their communities, wherever they might find themselves, even from now as students or even after they graduate. We want them to make an impact where they are. We have leadership programs right throughout our school with key, key years in year four and year 11 with a great captaincy program in year 12 as well. We have training for individual students right through to large groups and it's something that we're really passionate about. And finally, we have a focus on pastoral care and welfare. We have an excellent school psychologist who works with small groups, individuals and the whole school in a range of different programs. One of those programs is the Second Steps program, which is a social skills program helping students to work through the issues that they might come across in life, building resilience and strength to move forward from. Um, we're passionate about those things and I'm sure you'll hear more about them from our enrolments officer or our registrar, Mrs. Nicola Piper, here she is. Hi there. And um, you'll be in touch with her if you're interested in a tour of the school or an interview or, or any questions about the application process, please give her a call. And I look forward to meeting you in person. Uh, as do I. We are really passionate about Cedars and we'd love to get you in for a look as soon as we can. Well, I hope that quick uh, walk around the college with me and my iPhone was, was one that helped you to learn a little bit more about us. And I am really looking forward to, to meeting you and, and learning a bit more about you. You know, Cedars is known as a college that cares and a community that um, is welcoming of others. And we are really looking forward to having you here on site in the near future. And I look forward to meeting you and introducing you to some more people around the college here on site when you come. We'll see you then.